All right, guys, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. So we're going to start a new game for Rise of Industry uh, because the last since the last time I played, there's been a major update, and they highly recommend not loading the old save. So I'm not going to fight it. So this will be season two. Change your company color. Let's do... Ah, I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. I don't know if it is or not. It's a color that I like. Anyway, so if you guys are really into this game, eh, it's a nice quiet game. I'll just kind of be quiet as I play. <clears throat> I'll try to keep my finances in order and not take out loans that I can't pay back and things like that. So I, I did start in a little more difficulty. Uh, I started with lots of companies and a smaller starting loan of only $5 million. I think $5 million is enough to get started in the town. So I don't think it's necessary to have that much money. And having more money just encourages you to spend more, which may not be the right thing to do. So you have to carefully invest that money. Anyway, making sure the map is okay. I have been playing a lot of Conan Exiles. Unfortunately, I don't think Conan Exiles is entirely appropriate for my channel. If you guys would like to see me play Conan Exiles and flounder at that game, oh man, do I flounder. Um, flounder means like not do very well. So if you guys want to see me do Conan Exiles, I know it's a year old, but I bought it. I have a lot of fun playing that game. I played way too much of it over the past couple of weeks. Another game that I bought recently, oh, I forget what it's like, Mendistry, I think it's called. It's kind of like a Factorio, not really a clone, but like a simplified Factorio. I haven't really played it very much, but it looks kind of interesting. I'll see if that goes anywhere, if that's useful or whatnot. Um, rather than fighting aliens, you fight waves. I've never really liked games with waves. Um, Dungeons is kind of an exception. Like there are waves, but they're not really, like what's the right word for it? It's not really like programmatic waves. It's more like, you know, you can take out the camps and so they don't come so often. But uh, I should play some more dungeons too. Anyway, so how's your day? What have you guys been up to? You guys are probably in college if you're a student, or if you're not, you're probably. Or you could be a nine-year-old. You could be nine years old. You could be part of PewDiePie's army. If you're part of PewDiePie's army, thank you for watching my channel. I, I my content can't compete with his. He has a much greater sense of what's popular. I should note on my physics channel, the real physics channel, I have, um, last I checked, 19,999 subscribers, which is uh, slightly more than one, but still less than a million. So I think it's closer to a million than it was yesterday. I don't think I'll be able to make a living as a YouTuber. I don't think I'd want to. I just, you know, some days I wake up and have no motivation whatsoever to play any games, and it looks like this game is frozen. Hmm. Let's wait for the program to respond. Okay, we're uh, it's doing something. It's taking a sweet, sweet time to load. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. All right. I don't need to see messages anymore. But okay, so what I'm gonna do. Is I'm going to look at the shops. I'm going to look at towns that have three shops. And there's three towns that have three shops. Fort Plain, Farmer's Market, Hardware Store, and Construction Goods. That's, I, you know, construction goods are used to upgrade a town. So if I have a place to sell construction goods, I can just stockpile extra stuff. Iron mongery is always interesting. I just found the iron industry interesting. Is it because of the pollution? I don't know. There's two iron mongers. Dolan Springs and San Leandro. Where's San Leandro? There's Browns Mills, Montesano, Vermilion. Starting on the edge of the map. Oh, I do need to see resources. Here, let's turn this off. I do want to see resources. There we go. Gas, oil, copper, copper, gas. Ah, I'm going to need iron. Coal, coal, iron ore. I want two iron to one coal. Oh, San Leandro is just up here. If Oh, there's iron here. Coal. Hmm. San Leandro, huh? 
Hwasi. Hiwasi. Let's see what it is over here. Odessa. I could just choose a town that has good resources and start there. This guy is, has a huge area. Some iron, some coal. This guy has a very strange area, Lind. No resources except some fish. And there's some fish over here in Kyle. Ooh. Bear Creek Village. Coal, iron, coal, iron. Eh, that's plenty of iron ore. There's coal and iron ore here in Maxville. You know, I, I'm, I like that this guy, he has oil, gas, copper, and copper. So let's see what the hardware store wants. He wants oil and he does want gas. So, yeah, I mean, I'd have to either buy iron ore from the state I don't have any coal, unfortunately. So maybe I buy iron sheets from the state. Hmm. I haven't tried that yet in this game, buying stuff from the state. But Brown's Mill is super interesting because of the coal and the iron ore. Um, San Leandro, of course, has an iron mongery as well. What was the other town that had the construction? That's Fort Plain. This guy, Fort Plain. You know, I think Fort Plain is my guy. I think Fort Plain is it. Um, hold on, I got a message about the bowling party from there. Ah, okay. 11.45, bowling tomorrow. Need to move it up. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the schedule here. 11.45. Oh, it didn't update it. All right, I'll just remember to do that. Okay, so Fort Plain has oil, it has gas, it has copper and more oil. And I will just, I think I'll just set up my base in Fort Plain. So we're gonna see what Fort Plain has for me because the construction goods are really interesting. Um, so that just takes wood, that takes sand and water. We can get sand from the beach. Paint takes chemicals and dye. I don't know what chemicals come from. This is very interesting. I think this is going to be much more interesting. And we'll probably start again with food. Uh, we don't have a... Wait, milk and beef. And the other is leather. Hopefully the hardware store... Oh, the hardware store does take leather. So we can do cattle quite easily. We need some place to sell our chicken. You know what? We're just going to do it at Fort Plain. So let's go ahead and set up our headquarters. Kind of want to keep it away from the stores. Let's just do it like this. There we go. Game is paused. Okay, so we're gonna start with farms. I wanna get some, I wanna get as much level two technology as I can in the tech tree. And one of the techs that I really liked was um, obviously cattle. I think I wanna do cattle almost from the start. We're gonna need wheat for that though. So wheat cattle. Wait, is wheat in the market? Please be in the market. In the farmer's market. They do not want wheat, unfortunately. That's fine. We just make enough wheat for the cattle. Oop. I want to do the tech tree again. Carpentry. There's carpentry stuff. Um, I, I could unlock R&D. Spend more money on R&D. Trains, could, I can get that right away as well. What is this? Plus three destination slots. Hmm. Water treatment plant. Hmm. Um, irrigation tower, that's something that I wanna get. I think I'll definitely get that because I plan on doing farming. And then I need to get, I think our, I'll start with cows. And there, that's it. That's my, that's my stuff that I've unlocked. Um, so I'll start with cows. Okay. 
What's going on here? What is this? This is my headquarters. That's the hardware store. Construction goods and farmers market. So potatoes, carrots, sugar. Potatoes, carrots, or vegetables. And we're gonna need to get sugar. What else do they have? Potatoes, carrots, sugar, and apples. So we'll research apples next. You know what, actually I might just go Let's do apples. We'll just get all the stuff going here, as much as we can get. And then construction goods, we wanna get this as much as we can. Wooden planks and then bricks. That's what we'll do, wooden planks and then bricks. So that's wooden planks. And bricks is over here. And then what's after that? Wooden planks, bricks, paint, paper roll. Paper roll looks good. Paper roll. All right, we'll just play with that for a while. Okay. All right, yeah, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna start cattle right away. So this is the area that we're gonna set up a warehouse. Why do I have $20 million? It's interesting. So we're gonna set up a warehouse. Um, How can I set this up to minimize the path? I think this is about as good as you're going to get. No. I think something like that is best. That's probably what's the best thing to do here. Okay. So that's going to be the warehouse. All right. Now, oh, we have a gas field over here. We want to be sensitive about that. And we have all these trees. Well, let's just build our little farm. Um, we will start with wheat. Actually, let's get water going first. So we will gather some water. Let's see, does the hardware store want water? Oh, he doesn't care for water. Okay. Sometimes they want water. You know what? I'll just lay it all out. We'll take a loss. So livestock farm. Okay. We're going to do one, two, and if we could fit three. Oh, we can't. I feel like that's the wrong way to do it. Let's do that again. Okay, so that's square there. One. He's doing cows, so he needs water. Let's see, how many cows do they want? They want uh, seven per 15 days. Yeah, I understand that. This takes 35 days to make one. Hmm. Well, we'll just, hmm. What is it? What's the copy command? X? Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to have another road that just shortcuts so I don't have to drive past the... Uh, 
the stores. Now they need water. Let's put in our little irrigation tower, which, oh, these things are so huge. Let's actually make a couple more of these. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. Okay, more roads. Okay, now we'll put our water towers in. And these things are... Ridiculous. They have a ridiculous range. I got my tea hat back. You did? That wiggled on the first day. Wow. Is that your last one? I think that might be your last one. There's this weird thing connected to the bottom of it. Hmm? There's this weird thing connected to the bottom of it. There's a, that's the root. There's like a blood vessel and there's nerves that connect up. So um, this guy, how much water is he going to produce? Excuse me. He's going to produce um, six every 30 days. Let's get another one going. I do need to make some wheat. Oh, wait, we need these guys. Oh, and we should have programmed these guys to distribute directly to the irrigation tower. And you as well. Okay. And now we need a wheat farm. I don't like that way. Let's try this again. Oh, no, no, no. Put that back. I didn't mean to get rid of this guy. I'm anticipating when we have five, which I think will happen sooner rather than later. So this guy's making wheat, and he grows uh, two, six wheat every 35 days. This guy's going to use up one or no, three wheat every 35 days. So we actually have too many farms. I'll balance it later. Okay, let's just go. Let's see what happens. All right, let's speed up the time here. These guys are getting the water. Oh, this guy, we want him to deliver, actually, directly. Um, hold on. What is it doing? There's that, there's that weird bug sometimes. If you click on it, it won't let you. Yeah. Um, it's actually, maybe I should delete this guy. Yeah, let's just delete him for now. What is the button to delete? Okay. Maybe you should move this crop farm over here. I'll readjust it when I expand operations, but right now we are all about the cows. We're losing uh, a lot of money. Are we growing the wheat? Looks like we are indeed growing the wheat. Looks like the water is getting out. What's, what's this? He's missing wheat. Yeah. It'll be a month. Don't worry. Uh, 
How's he doing on inventory? Four water stored. That's a good sign to have extra water, but okay, here comes the wheat. So he's distributing the wheat now. Oh, hold on. I just realized something. My math is way off. Each wheat field grows two wheat, and each one of these requires one wheat. So I can only support six fields. If I had 12 fields, I'd need to... Oh, crap. Okay, let's do that. And we'll make another wheat field. Alright, hopefully this will work out eventually. And you are going to distribute to that farm and that farm and not this one. And you crop are going to distribute to this farm and this farm. There, because each one could support two farms. Let's go. Let's see, did you get the water? He should be growing. He has no water. Irrigation tower has no water. Probably don't have enough water being made. Let me let me calculate really quick how much water is being made. So we're making six water a month. This guy requires six. We're making 12 water a month. Six, six, that's, wow, we need a lot more water here. Let's actually duplicate this. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Maybe I need another one. I'll see if we run out of water or not. You get these wheat, this wheat growing. There, we got one for one field. Oh, we got three fields. Excellent. So we got the wheat growing. All right. Are we delivering the... There we go. We got some stuff coming out. Here comes the stores to pick up the goods and sell them. We're going to be making our first profits here very soon. What was the R&D we got? Potato. Did you guys get the leather up there? Yeah, you got two of them. I don't know if we're going to make a profit or not. I hope we do. Uh, we're losing $77,000 a month. We got vegetable field done. We have some surplus water. Looks like all three fields there are going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have full production now of cattle. So we should be producing 12 of each a month, more or less. And so this guy wants 14 steaks and 14 milk. And this guy wants 14 leather. So we'll be getting close. Oh, we made a profit, $36,000. How are we doing on the water? We have lots of extra water. 
Okay, I'm going to plant a potato field. Let's go ahead and pause it. Let's make sure we have room for one, two, three, four. That'll leave a little extra room. This is going to be a potato field. I hear people like potatoes. We are doing potatoes here. And then we're going to make another one over here. You're not in range of the... Uh, you're a little far away, but that's okay. I think it'll work out. So we're going to have you do vegetables. Get a little diversity in their diet there. Hopefully... He is within range of the irrigation tower. He is. So I just need to set your destination there and your destination. Oh, wait. You are doing... I'm sorry. You're going to be doing vegetables. All right. Let's see what happens. Did the hardware store... Did he want oil? He did want oil. We can probably make some money from oil and gas. Yeah. Are we producing? We are. How's the water? We're at 29 water. Maybe what I should do actually is set up a warehouse over here. I think that's what I'll do. Set up a warehouse over here. Make sure that you're not being silly. Okay, and then you guys. Yeah, you go to warehouse two. Yeah, you're all doing two. Okay, and what we'll do here is we'll take the potatoes and the crops and the vegetables, potatoes, goes here. We want, uh, let's say 14 full. And then we're gonna do vegetables. There, we're gonna say 14 full loads only. That should save a little bit of money, I think, because the ship, the trucks will ship um, more efficiently than We lost 20,000 last month. How is our water? 31, we still have extra water. All right, I think I'm gonna set up a gas plant. Um, no, 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 these guys. Gas pump, water well efficient. Okay. Offshore oil, oil drill, gas pump. We're gonna set up a gas pump out here for gas pumpy services. Then we're gonna set up a warehouse. have this connect up to there somehow actually I want a warehouse down here we'll just share the warehouse okay and then you're gonna take gas gas and deliver it here I don't know how much they want here they want 16 That should be pure profit. It might cause pollution, but I don't think it'll affect the farms. Every 15 days, every 30 days, we'll make two. Six, there is pollution. Okay, I'm, I think I'm far enough from the farms that it's okay. I might use this whole area to make farms when I start getting serious about making lots of farms. We have sugar cane and we have apples researched. So we could start adding those. 
We have a lot of traffic. Yeah, I'm gonna build a little shortcut here. I just driving all the way around there just seems kind of a waste. We have a lot of traffic. We need roads. We need roads. We're going to have to research real roads. Um, I saw a road just appear out of nowhere. Yeah. There's pollution. Maybe this will be our wood area where we make wood. Hardware store wants wood. We should probably start stockpiling that so we can make the lumber. Yeah, let's set up a separate storehouse here. So we're going to set up a separate storehouse just like that. Perfect. This is the hardware store. And what I'll do is I will ship the leather over here. Um, let's do that like that. And then the gas, instead of going to that warehouse, we're gonna change that destination to this warehouse. So that should make it a little quicker for the hardware store to get the stuff that it wants. I made $214,000 last month. I'm going to set up my little wood farms as well. So let's go ahead and pause the game there. Um, now he wants, he wants 20 wood. Let's do vertical view. I like that vertical view. It's pretty awesome. So we need a lot of lumber yards. We're just going to set them up along this highway. I don't know what difference it makes. I really don't. Let's just have this go all the way out there. This guy all the way here. Let's have one right there in the middle. And then we'll take another one. One right here in the middle. And we need a warehouse to kind of store Huh, this might be a bad idea. We'll just do it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so that should be fine. We're gonna ship all the wood um, to here. We're gonna do 20 of them in full shipments. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if the productivity is gonna fall because there's not enough trees. I assume there's plenty of trees. How's my tech going with uh, the construction? It's almost there. Mm, the pollution isn't that bad yet. Right, here comes the wood. Okay, wooden planks are here. So I assume that wooden planks are somewhat polluting. So I'm going to build them somewhere. You know what? Let's just build it right there. And if they're polluting, we will pollute, not pollute. There it is, carpentry center. If it's polluting, we will filter it out. See, lessons learned. Okay, you're going to make uh, wooden planks. Excellent. And we're going to ship those wooden planks. We're not doing wood anymore. The wooden planks, if I can find them. The wooden planks are going to go. I should probably just wait till I get some. And I don't know, 20 full shipments. We're going to turn that off for now. 
and I think I do have to research um, the pollution stuff. There it is. That is next. After bricks, this is next. Let's see. Wood gets you 2.9 thousand. Oh, you know what? Actually, the wooden planks go over here. Wooden planks get you 2.27 thousand. And they take three wood to make two planks. So we'll see what happens here. So he needs he needs six wood every 20 days. This guy makes, yeah, this is six wood every 20 days. So we should be good. This guy should always be happy. Production alert. Storage is full. Water well, who cares? I do see pollution. Pollution could be bad. I'm gonna turn on the other destination just to make extra money. We're making $95,000 a month now. That's good progress. Yeah, this is definitely polluting. I wanna leave this whole area for farmland so I don't wanna do pollution very much. $186,000. Okay, I don't want you complaining anymore, so we're going to turn off your complaints. And yours as well. we got to pause and see what that's about. I thought I turned you off. Yeah, I did. Okay, cost of all buildings reduced by 43% for 14 months. Sure. Let's go slow now. Oh, I should keep that open. Wow. Let's do 300,000. All right, I'm done. It's not worth it. It looks like one of them is slowing down. There's pollution down here too with all the cars. Does he have everything he needs? Yeah, he does. Is he, he's not storing anything, is he? No, everything's going. We are making some money. We made $214,000 last month. We're starting research on the air purifier. We can do bricks now. You know, I probably should just manufacture stuff over here. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to need sand, I believe, to make bricks, if I recall correctly. Let me pull up the recipe book. So, um, uh, yeah, bricks, there we go. They require water, and they require two sand to make two bricks. Water and two sand to make two bricks. And bricks are selling for $21,000 a piece. Sand sells for three thousand a piece. So let's get some sand going. We'll probably just manufacture the bricks all the way over here. Just manufacture them all the way over here. So I'm going to start leveling some land. I think this is a good place to start. How's my money? That's a million dollars. Sure, why not? Whew, that's a lot of money. 
sand collector. I forget how this works. And then you need a road, right? Let's do that again. Sand collector. build another one I'd have to level some terrain here spend a little more money on leveling terrain and these guys are what they're too wide so I need that's uh, four and just two more mm -hmm. There we go. There's some sand. Let's get the warehouse going. I wonder if I built it on the other side. Yeah, let's do that. Just because of the way the road goes. No, let's, look, let's keep it this way. It's not a big deal. Okay, now we need the factory for glassworks and smelter. We need water here as well. Let's build a water digger thing. Water well. Okay, and then we need to connect up this road. And I, I wasn't even thinking about the road connection. Okay. So he needs two sand every 15 days. This guy produces uh, three sand every 10 days. So three sand every 10 days. He needs two sand every 15 days. Hold on, I gotta work at the fractions here. So two sand every 15 days times N must equal three every 10 days times M. So N equals 15 times three over two times 10 which, let's see, 15 divided by, that's 5 times 3 divided by 2 times 2. So it's it's 15 divided by 4. We need 15, 15 sand factories, brick factories for every four things. So we can build like seven of these guys with just those two sand things. Um, this guy wants how much? He wants uh, nine per 15 days. And he'll make two. So we can build four of these guys. And then finally, let's wait till we get the product here. We're gonna have way too much sand, but I think that's fine. I don't know how much water these guys need. They need one every 15 days. This guy makes three. You need one more of these water guys.
How are we doing? So we got water, we got sand coming in. Looks like these guys, they are not quite running yet. No, oh, there they go. Yeah, some of them are running. All right, we got air purifier research. Let's go ahead and put one down here. I don't remember if these guys need something. They just need water. Okay. Let's set up some water then. This guy should have bricks. So we're going to set bricks. We're going to go to this guy. Full loads only, please. We'll do 20. He wants, uh, yeah, 20 is fine. So there goes our first brick shipment. I feel bad. I'm going to set up a pollution thing. This guy, stop alarming, please. We have bricks. And we have a traffic jam. I need the modern roads. Yeah, I should have done that. Oh, well, paper's good, too. How are we doing on storage here? Looks like we just have water stored. All the pollution seems to be cleared up. I'm going to have him not deliver too much goods. And then let's do 20, actually. Just 20. Yeah, just have 20 water. No more than that. He's working really hard to purify, but there's a lot of stuff to purify. Okay, we need one over here as well. Can I, I can't stick it in there, can I? Will he get the water automatically from the... And we just need... Uh, Let's say maximum of four. So he, oh, we need a road. So this guy will deliver, the irrigation tower will deliver the water to the purification plant. I assume it will at least. It does not seem to be delivering anything. Wait, was that it? It was. There we go. Yeah, it's delivering it. This one I kind of don't care about. It's just gas. So we have our wooden boards coming in. Hopefully. Or do we not have wooden boards being made? Do we need more wooden boards? We need three every 20 days. Each of these guys produces six every 20 days so we can actually support four of these carpentry centers and they make two 
and this guy wants seven. Hmm. Let's go ahead and set up some more carpentry centers. Let's actually set it up out of the way. Let's go ahead and do that. No, I wanted to delete it. Demolish that. Okay. So we're going to have a road. It's going to come down like this. We're going to have like four of these factories that do wood. <gasps> we can do paper mill too. Let's do, let's do paper mills. I'm just going to build a bunch, assuming they're going to work. What is paper mill? What do they need? They need water every 20 days. Yeah, there should be plenty of water. If there's not enough water, we can always make more. Okay, so water and paper, I assume. Yeah, water and wood. And we're going to set up some more of these lumber yards. Should have, uh, well, doesn't matter. So I'm going to set up lumber yards. I'm going to set up four more of these lumber yards. Let's do a overview. Let's just do it like that. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably should keep these guys off the main road. Yeah, let's do that. So lumber yards. Let's do it this way. Let's see if this makes any sense to do something like this. We do need to connect up those roads. Let's actually make them urban roads. Oh, we don't have it unlocked yet. We should not be shipping the logs anymore. Do not ship those logs. We have to keep them all here. How are we doing on the water? That air purifier can't keep up with all that. Research completed paper roll. What did we just finish? Oh, we're doing the roads now. Yeah, that was a while ago. How are we doing on water? We have 18. Making uh, $260,000 a month. Oops, I plugged my headphones. What is the gameplay alert? Oh, who cares? Oh, we're losing money now. Don't know why that is. Let's do this. Let's actually go this way so we can see. Over here. This is kind of a busy road here too. That one's not so busy. That one's not so busy either. Well, maybe we should build it at least here. Do 
but this truck's moving faster. Should find more uses for that sand. Plastic requires oil and gas. Upkeep of all buildings reduced by 34%. I'll start the bid. Let's see how we're doing over here now. Ah, paper. We need to deliver the paper. The paper will go over here. And we're going to do full loads and only up to 20. Yeah, the construction wants paper roll. It should help make some money. Uh, somebody else bid on it. Don't care. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. The 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 uh, trucks are passing in front of this way. I don't want them to. I guess it's unavoidable. Made half a million dollars. Let's get some more research going. What should I research next? I think, let's see. Let's see what we can do about this. So this guy, he wants uh, capacitors, copper wire, cans, and ceramics. Oof, that's pretty expensive. This would require wooden planks, furniture base, chemicals, and dye paint. I don't understand what the paint is. Paint. Chemicals? Where, ke where do chemicals come from? It comes from natural gas. Hmm. And dye. Where does dye come from? <sighs> Berries and water. So we need to go berries and water to make paint. Oof, that's that's kind of a long chain there. Chemicals and plastic for this. Plastic comes from oil and natural gas. But this this is okay. This is good because if I make plastic, then I can make this, and I think some other things require plastic too. I'll make plastic and then I'll make adhesive. That'll kind of be my next goal here. Plastic and then adhesive. But I really want to start getting my harvesters kind of maximized. No, I don't, I don't. We will go ahead and do plastics. No, wait, we will get better distribution, bigger cars. In fact, why don't I get faster research unlocked? And then we can start going faster cars. Um, plastics. And then we can start working on plastics and then tape. And I think that will, that will be good. That would be good. We might, oh, we might want to do carpentry right away, this one. Because this will make even more money, I think. Like, like the furniture bases, let's look at this. So they want furniture base, right? And so furniture base takes two logs. So it's one-to-one -one with the with the wooden planks. And planks are making 26,000. This one makes 43,000. So yeah, I should probably do that first. Get that up there. That'll just, that's just money in the bank, you know, because it'll make even more money. So we'll do that. It looks like the pollution is keeping up with everything that's going on, the air purifier. I'm surprised. No, it's not quite doing its job. Let's get another one going. See, can it even fit in there? No. That's probably too far away now, isn't it? Oh well, I kind of don't care. 
made seven hundred thousand dollars last month. We are selling bricks. We are selling planks. We should be selling paper. Probably just not enough trucks to... Maybe that's something I need to consider is how many... Oh, there, there they go. There's a paper. Planks. There's 11 bricks up there too. We're going to be making bank. There we go. Is there a loan that I can repay? There's twenty thousand dollars left, twenty million dollars left to pay, so I can probably make some massive savings if I started using trains and manufacturing things farther away. All right, so this this will give me the furniture base, which will make even more money. Are my lumber yards 100% efficient? It should be nine units. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing fine. Maybe what I'll do is build another row here of manufacturing. So these guys produce two planks in a month. And then the recipe book for furniture bases didn't tell me how long it takes. 25 days. It takes two. Wooden planks take 20 days. And they make two. So it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. I wonder if I could change this to planks. To Yeah, I'll just change half of them to furniture base and then set them up so they deliver to their neighbor. And then set up another block like that. So minimize the paths of travel. I can up the research to 250 a month. Let's go ahead and do that, it'll be a little faster. All these things that get built up over time, the city just keeps growing. We're only giving leather to the leather and gas. That's the only thing that's happening here. Oh, well, we could probably set up an actual road here. How's my gas plant doing? Yeah. Well, I think we'll continue with the furniture bases next episode when I'll convert some of these carpentry centers. You know, half will do planks and half will do furniture bases. I'll basically pass them off to the next neighbor. I think that's the most efficient way to do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and bye-bye.